I wanted to go back to, to, to Sam to a point he made earlier, which was around this gap, this seeming incapacity. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that, that people who seem to know what we should do fail to stand up as leaders and act? Will the real leaders please stand up? Sam? Thank you very much, Dele. Um, well, you know, the basic thing here is that when you look from a leadership standpoint, these crises we're going through are predictable. I had said to the people that listened to me years ago that Nigeria would go from crisis to crisis to crisis. Why? Because we have a culture basically that is not aligned with principles. We're dealing with cultural issues, deep issues, mindsets, beliefs, values that eventually influence behavior. Okay, so the, the leadership culture itself has a big problem because it, there's a wide gap between the leader and the led. It's a cultural problem. The leader is very powerful. The led, powerless, okay? It's a cultural thing. So leadership requires change. That's the essence. If you're not taking me from A to B, you're not leading me. If we stand on the same spot for 12 hours, you're standing in front of me for 12 hours, then they ask you, what are you doing to him? You say, I'm leading him. That's not true. You're actually obstructing my progress. We need to move forward, okay? And what I'm saying is there are people in government that know this. They know what we are supposed to do. Okay, let me be honest. I have friends in government, okay? <laughs> so, and they tell me when they say uh, vision, because basically we should be discussing Nigeria's development. Nigeria needs to move into the 21st century and as fast as possible. Abubakar mentioned it. This whole thing is about the economy. If you have any problem in Nigeria that is not tractable, somebody is making money from it. Okay, and Chema said as much. Somebody is making money, Boko Haram, people are making money. Banditry is about money making. Kidnappings is about making money. Why don't we then create a country where people can make money legitimately? Basic. You. Once you begin to discuss that idea with Nigerians, a vision will give people hope. Presently, there's despair. People can't see any way forward. So what's the discussion right now amongst young Nigerians? This huge population that we have of young Nigerians. It is, look, let's, let's everybody go their way. Let's break it down. The smart people know that will not solve the problem. Okay? Thank you. South Sudan broke away from North Sudan, and then South Sudan went into a war. <laughs> Breaking away is not the issue. The restructuring is empowering the citizen. But I am saying there are brilliant people in government. They're finding it difficult to push their ideas. They need to tell us why. This is my suggestion to them. Yes. The elite class, okay, the elite class is speaking to itself. It's not speaking to the citizens in a way that is understandable. Mm -hmm. And the elite class thinks that the only way it can maintain relevance is by negotiating within the elite class. Yes. Thank you. 